Doing good. It's a, it's a beautiful day in Houston, Texas right now. Houston, Texas. Okay, so what are you guys doing in Houston right now? Uh, we're currently doing a, a small tour here in Texas. Um, even though we're from all around America and uh, even Reggie from the Philippines, um, we're based in Los Angeles, but we just got from Florida from doing a couple shows there and now we're doing a couple shows here in Texas. Okay, cool. So what has tour been like recently? Uh, tour, it's, it's amazing. I would say it's the, the best experience ever. Um, we're able to meet a lot of the stars from many different areas. Um, we would just travel to the Philippines and Florida, and now we're here in Texas. Uh, we're going to be going back to Los Angeles, doing a couple of shows there as well. And uh, it's, I think it's been a, a great time together of us traveling and performing music. I think that was, that's my personal favorite part of it. Yeah. And are you guys ever shocked whenever you go to these cities and like all these people are showing up just to see you guys? Like, what does that feel like? Oh, Special. what do you I want mean, to say? I think it's amazing. You know, we never expected to um, see this much love from people, but you know, th there's nothing better than this. And you know, everything we do, we do it for our supporters, our stars. So it's amazing to see you know, that love go both ways. And I'm just super excited to hopefully keep continue traveling the world and, and meeting everybody. Yeah, that's amazing. And so far, have any of you had like a favorite city? Well, what do you boys think? What's your guys' favorite city? Manila. I will say New York City. New York, Manila. I would say Tampa. Tampa, because that's my home state. I'd say Texas. Oh, my home state. Well, or Houston now. <laughs> Awesome. That's so great. So I just want to know, what does North Star Boy mean to you guys? North Star Boys is the name that we came up with for the group. North Star is our mission statement. It is our goal to inspire everybody across the world and show as much love to these people. And we're the North Star Boys because we always strive to hit our mark, our target, which is the, the North Star, which is to inspire these people and um, continue showing love and do everything we can for our supporters. That's amazing. That's amazing. So when you all started at social media, did you ever think that it was going to blow up to where you are now? Like you guys are completing tours, you're traveling the world. Like that's amazing. Well, Sebastian, we've been on social media for six years and, um, you know, it's, it's been a, a journey to say the least, but to be able to go into this new adventure, uh, with our best friends and, uh, I would say that is what makes it special. And I, I, would, I never really thought we would get this far, but I've always believed in what we do. And I'm not too sure what the future holds for us, but I do hope that we're able to meet all of the stars around the world. Yeah, that would be amazing. That's obviously everyone's goal, like to be able to meet your supporters and thank them for like everything they've done. So that's amazing that that's something that you guys really hold close to you. Um, and how do you think your guys' Asian heritage influences the content that you make today? So our Asian heritage, um, like I've mentioned earlier, we're from different backgrounds. Even though we're all Asian American, uh, we have different backgrounds. So to kind of put all of our backgrounds into a pot and to be able to make content about it and to share that content with the world, I, I think that is inspiring. It's something that's we've all wanted to have growing up. You know, there's not many Asian American influencers that we're able to watch, maybe a couple, maybe a handful, but we want to be able to be that inspiration for young Asian Americans and to be honest, Asians around the world to um, be able to feel like they could relate with us. Yeah, that's amazing. And you mentioned young Asian Americans. So would you have ever expected to see people like yourself in media when you were younger? Um, I've always hoped to see it. And whenever I did see any Asian Americans, influencers or artists when we were younger, um, I've always kind of had a, uh, I was drawn to them. Um, but now, now that we're in 2022, there are quite a bit more and it's really yeah. exciting to see other Asian American influencers and artists arise and find success through that. Yeah, of course. So how do you feel about how much Asian representation in the media today is changing? And then also, how do you feel about being able to be a part of that movement and adding more diversity to pop culture as a whole? So 
That, that is an interesting question. Um, I don't know, how, can you explain that one? We love to be a part of this movement and contribute in any way possible. Um, everything you know that we do is very authentic and it's very true to ourselves. So I think people can see that through our content and through our music. Yeah, that's amazing. And so when you guys started as a group, it was mostly just like for social media content and now you guys are making music. So was that always the plan when you guys decided to form North Star Boys? Was it always like, okay, the end goal is we are going to start making music? To be honest, no. Oh, we came together to create content and that's something that we were all already, you know, dabbling into. Music is just something that we discovered that we all have a passion for and, and even a spark of it. Um, and through North Star Boys, we're noticing that there's a lot of opportunities for us to be able to turn that spark of passion into a burning flame. So uh, it's something that we've been putting a lot more attention into and focusing a lot more on. And it's something that's really exciting uh, to be able to see the many talents that each individual member here holds. Yeah. And did everyone have a background in music or was this someone's like first time starting or singing? So no, to be honest, no. Uh, I got into music about two years ago, or may maybe three years ago now. And a lot of these members, they got into it during North Star Boys. But um, I mean, we've all have been inspired by music in different ways. We've all loved to listen to it um, too. So to take all of our interests when it comes to music and put it together, that is the sound of you know, what we release when it comes to music. It's, uh, it's a little bit of a mixture of many different that variables, but um, I, I think it's really interesting because it's who we are. And, uh, and yeah, even though we don't all come from years of experience for, for music, it's something that we really want to pursue. No, no, that's amazing. I think passion always trumps like any type of experience you've had. So you guys seem really passionate about what you do. So that's Thanks. amazing. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, and can you talk to me a little bit about what the inspiration or the process of making your latest song Sunshine was? So, so that's actually kind of funny. So um, by the way, uh, I want to introduce ourselves really quickly for those who may yeah, not know who we are. <clears throat> My name is Kane. This is Kane. My name is Oliver. I'm Reggie. I'm Sebastian Moore. I'm Darren. I'm Justin. And I'm Ryan. So the inspiration for Sunshine, um, I was working on music with a lot of the members individually. And at the time, the structure that we had was, um, they would just come into my room randomly. And I'm always working on music because I, I want to be able to get better at producing and engineering and songwriting and, and you know, recording in my room. That's, that's what we do. We record all our music inside of our rooms. And one day Reggie, he came into my room and um, uh, we were just sitting down wondering what we should write about. And it was more of one of those songs that, hey, this may not ever get released. We're not planning to release a song, let's just have fun. And I believe that is the reason why the song turned out the way it is, because we were simply just in the room having fun. I believe we recorded that song, produced that song, engineered it all in the span of four hours. And then ever since that, I, I didn't even touch it. And then um, we were listening to all of the music we we're creating and we just stumbled upon Sunshine and we really liked the vibe of it. So we decided to release it. That's amazing. And for any of the other members, what's been the most challenging part about like pursuing music recently? What would you say, Ken? What was your uh, toughest part about music? Well, whenever I was a kid, basically, I used to always wanted, I always wanted to sing as a kid, but um, I was in choir, I was taking voice lessons, and eventually I got <laughs> actually kicked out of a couple choirs because um, my voice wasn't ready and I wasn't doing well, but I've always had this passion since I was a kid, and being able to work with these guys and being able to have these resources to be able to help me pursue my dream that I had as a kid that I thought that I gave up on is absolutely amazing. So I'm yeah, thankful for all awesome. the out there to support us, and these guys for helping me out. Yeah, that's amazing. And so for everyone, what is one song that you would recommend off of your playlist right now? Um, I would say Pine by Unusual Demont. Um, Yukon by Judgy. Uh, I would say Scary Cat by DPR Pine. Um, 
For me, it would be any weekend song, but if I had to suggest one, um, I would choose A Lonely Night off of the Starboy album. Oh, shit. <laughs> that song. Um, I listen to rap a lot, but um, probably um, Low Baby. <laughs> he said little baby little baby top off okay um i've been listening to this song that reggie showed me it's called if we never met by john k so i'm listening to the song right now it's on repeat it's called rich and sad that's amazing this is gonna be a great playlist for your fans i can already tell they're like already putting it into spotify like <laughs> it's gonna be great <laughs> And just kind of the final question, just to wrap up the interview today, what's one thing that you would tell your younger selves or other people that are also trying to pursue a career in music? Hmm. To never give up, to, to keep on going. Um, it's definitely a bumpy road, but uh, also learn from your experiences as well. And uh, anything that you're striving to be, Find ways to build upon it and be better at it. And to never stop trying your best to understand others and to be better at loving more. That's amazing. Anyone else? Did anyone else have anything that you would want to tell your younger self? If I had to talk to, if I got the chance to talk to my younger self, I would definitely say that to keep going um, and believe in yourself. That's one of the biggest things. And if, if there's any message I could put out for for other people that you know may be wanting to be inspired, I would say to continue believing in yourself. This is your life. Live it the way you want to. And there's no limitations to what we do. Anything is achievable. There's been, I've seen a million miracles in my life and nothing is, um, nothing can stop you from, from being who you want to be. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, it was so great talking to you guys today. It was so nice meeting everyone and you guys Gave some amazing answers, and I wish you all the best with your music career. I can't wait to hear more music. Um, was there anything that anyone wanted to add before we ended the interview? Well, I would like to say thank you for having us. This means a lot to us, and we're really excited to be here right now. Yeah, of course. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye. Bye.